Hello friends, so today we gonna discuss this problem from the educational DP contest problem M candies. Uh, when I was solving this question, I feel a lot of difficulty understanding the logic, but uh, now I get it. So, like, stay with me and I'll let you know. Okay. So the question statement is very simple. There are n children, one from one till n, and they have to decide to share k candies among them, for which all the n children from 1 till n, children i must receive between 0 and a minus 1 candies. Also, no candies should be left over. This is also important. Find the number of ways uh, to share the candies among all the children and modulo them with 10 to the power 9 plus 10. And uh, okay. so this is the question. As you can see, for every children, there is a maximum upper bound to how much candy that children should get. and it can get up to from 0 till that upper bound and you have to divide these 4 candies among all these children and you have to find out the possible combination permutation, or like combination for, for like a uh, different type of ways so as you can see in this way 0 till 1 and 3 0 to 2 and you can understand I hope you understand this uh, combination how we divide them. so these are the 5 ways ok now this is a deep problem in which we have to find a different state so i have drawn this for this you have to take the dp uh, like the dimensions for n and m so this is actually the number of students this and these are the number of candies okay so now First, try to fill this table for some values uh, without using any formula or something like that. And then we will use some of the techniques and see what other like similarity we can find out. This is a base condition in which if there are zero children and zero candies, the answer will be one. But other than that, if you have zero children and if you have one candy, two candy, three candy, and so on, how can you divide that? You are you have no children. So the number of ways is zero. Okay, so the number of ways to give uh, zero candies or like one, two candies, three candies, so zero children is zero. Okay, now try to fill this. If you have one children and uh, like though the k ranges from like zero till 10 to power 5, but as you can also see, if you have only one children and you want to divide zero candies, you don't have any candies, the number of ways is one, which is zero comma zero. Now, you have, if you have two children and zero candies, the number of ways is one, and so on. So, you can also fill this. Now, try to fill this. If you have one children and you have one candy, can you give it? Yes, you can give it. If you have one children and you have two candies, you can give it. Yes. So, the answer is one for all. No. But the thing is, you have also some constraint to how much a children can get. As you can see, the first children can get at most one. So, if you have one, toffee and you have one children you can give to him but if you have two toffees and you have one children and you have to see from so we are doing a dp from the ith children till the ith children and we are giving to that ith children so we are doing it for this children only when we are including this two children then we are doing it for only these two children so we are only looking for the first children and can we divide two toffees among the first children which has a constraint to take only one candy no so the number of ways is zero is zero and zero i haven't used any formula till now but let's try to fill the more values and then it will become okay now if you have two children and you have only one candy so the possible combination can be you can either give in this way or you can give in this way because as you can see the constraints are also followed because second children second child can take uh, like at most two and the first child can also take at most one so this is like satisfying so the answer is two now see how we are getting this value so this is actually we have two values and we want to find out we have two candies and we want to divide among these two children so what we will do is we will either give zero candies to the this children on which we are and then we will divide the remaining candies which is two 
among all the rest of the children as you can see so now this is the state which is 1 comma 2 because we want to divide for the first children for the first like i children for the first these children one children we have to divide two candies among and the answer for this is 0 because we cannot give this okay now the other case will be we will because we have um, two candies we can either give one candy to this person or, or sorry we have one candy to uh, give we can either give zero candy or we can give one candy and then we have only one candy left for to give all the rest of the children and the state is one comma one uh one comma which is this okay so i hope like so the thing is or or they can also be a state in which you give zero candy to the first person and one candy to this person so, so this is the state so, the, so we are actually taking the sum of these states and this state which is this i hope you understand so this is actually the sum of these two states now we have this state uh, or like this state in which you have to divide two toffees among two children so let's see We have we have to divide two toffees among two children. So uh, let's do the same thing. We can either give the last children two toffees, zero toffees, and then we have to divide two toffees among the first one. Or we can give one toffee. So we have to divide two toffees, total of two toffees among two children. As you can see, two candies among two children. So we can either give zero toffees to the like, like this children, and we have to divide now two toffees among the rest of the children same for this now we have to divide one toffee among all the children or we can give two candies to this and zero toffees we have to divide among all the children these all states are valid because we can give maximum two toffees to this children yeah so now what we can see here is this is state this state is one comma two because now we have to divide one toffee among like two toffees among one children. This is one comma one, and this is actually one comma zero. Which so as you can see, finding out this state, we have to find out the sum for this, this, and this, which is two. So we can easily see we are actually for the above, like other above row. We have to find out the prefix sums because we, are, we have to find out the sum till this. For this, we are finding out the sum till this. So we can easily store a prefix sum for this whole array and then use it here. But is it uh, like so? What so this question can become very simple now. Uh, you can just take this value and prefix sums till at this point. So the prefix sums till this is one. Prefix sum till this is 2. Prefix sum at this is 2. So now, according to this, the answer will be 2 and 2 here. But this is no. This is not 2. I will tell you why. Because there is a constraint on how much candy we can give. That's how. As you can see, when we reach, so now we have actually 2 children in which this children can get at max 1 candy this children can get at max two candy but if i give them four candies at this position how can we divide them how can we give every children four candies when everyone like this children can get one candy this children can get two candy the upward most candy they can give till these two children only the answer is only three we cannot fill this the answer for this should be zero but that means we are not every time using this prefix. but let me see how we can find out or like find out the value for this. Let's find out the value for this only. Uh, last row you can find out in the same way. I'll tell you how to find out the value for these two. Now if you want to find out the value for these two, I'll let us just so 
So if you want to find the value for this, in, in which we want to divide among two children three candies. So the case can be, I can give zero candies to the last children and then we have to divide three candies among the first children. I can give one candy to the last children because I have to give three candies. And then two candies among the last three children. Two candies and then one candy among the last children. And then three candy and zero candy. As you can see, these values we can, so uh, in which what we can see, this this value is acceptable, this value is acceptable, in which we are giving last person, zero candy, one candy, two candy, but this case, this case is not acceptable now, because we are assuming that we have give three candies to the last person, and then we are going to find out what are the number of ways to distribute zero candies among all the rest of the children? Though this state is correct, we can do this. But this state is not correct. So we have to remove this case. We have to somehow go to only this value and not take the value of this into consideration. So this is non existing. This is not exist. In which we have taken the case in which we have given the last person three candies. This is not, not existing case. Uh, as I hope you understand, this is a not existing case, and so we will not take into consideration of this. We are only going to this. And what is the value of this? In which we will take the last person, and this is this is the case of one comma three, which is zero. This case is one comma two, and one comma one. An answer is turned out to be one, which is the sum of this. So. As you can see, now we have used only the prefix of this. We have haven't not used the pre we have sum only this, and we have to. As you can see, we have already find the summation of till now. We have to just remove the summation of this, and this is correct. So we don't have to recompute everything. We just have to remove the summation of this, this first value. But we have to find out how many values do we have to remove. So this is the main question now. How many values from the start we have to remove such that the prefix from this till this is the answer. So this we will get from because now we want to distribute three toppies and the maximum for this person is two. So now we have to remove because we cannot get till so we have to remove this value, the first value. So as you can see the index of this is zero. So three minus two minus one which is equal to 0. So from 0 till this index which is this is j this is a of j and this is just minus 1. So this is actually j minus a of j minus 1. So we have to remove indexes from 0 till a of this till this point which is actually j minus a of j minus 1. So we have to remove this value, this prefix. So if we find out the value for this, we have to find out the prefix till this and we have to remove the prefix from 0 till this point and this point is actually 0 as you can see. So we have computed the prefix for everything. So then if we delete the prefix from this to this, we will get the prefix of this and that's the answer. So I hope you understand the logic, this is the main point. So I have written on the code. This is n and k input. Everything is uh, taking the input. Then dp is from n to k. dp of 0 comma 0 is 1. So I told you this is a dp table. Then what we will do is we will first this row which is very simple because we have filled dp comma 0 comma 0 is 1 and rest of them which is from 1 till uh, 1 till k is all, all 0 because we cannot distribute. Anything. Then we will initialize our uh, for loop from 1 till n 1 till n because I have stored down all the values in the a from 1 till n and then we will find out this sum value for our above because we are starting from this there is always an above row in which we will find out the prefix sum so what we can do here is we can find out the sum which is the prefix sum 
for the above. As you can see, uh, this is the sum and this is the upper value. So we are actually finding out the prefix sum and doing a mod because you have to find out with the mod value also. Uh, the sum does not go exceed this value. And when we find out the prefix sum, for finding out every value, we will check whether. So there are two conditions. If it is within boundary, because uh, we have a maximum of two. As you can see, when when we are within the boundary, in which because the maximum it can get two, it is just the prefix value, which is just the above value. So if it a for this any of the row, if it's less than or equal to a of i, which means if we are within the maximum limit which the children can get, it is just the dp of ij is just the sum of hj, which is the prefix sum till then. But if we exceed that value, then what we will do is we will to find out the non-existing cap, how many non-existing uh, states will be there in which it is just j minus a of i minus 1 and then the dp value will store sum till j minus that non-existing character and because we are finding out the mod, we can add mod and then do a mod value as you, can, as you know and then because we are just, uh, because the value can get very pretty large uh, like case into a 5 and then we are making 20 by 5 table for prefixes every time so then we can actually clear it up and then after that the answer is just a dp of I hope you understand the logic as well as the code if you still have any doubts please mention now if you like my explanation please hit the like button and subscribe subscribe to my channel see you in the next one bye